like it's such an extraordinary thing to be a human being. <laughs> and I, <laughs> you can't film this now, can you? <laughs> and I see someone who's disfigured, you know, and I feel comfortable with myself and I'm able to be myself. It seems like a miracle to them. Like, because people who look like me aren't supposed to feel confident and comfortable in their own skins. And ever since we lost Carlos Javier, family has taken a different meaning. Uh, to be able to be together in the good times, and especially in the bad times. We are together in such a simple way that there is full permission to be who, to be who we are. I think she has my full permission. I think she has the full permission to go through this disease. When I'm loving myself, I have so much more space to like love those around me. And it's amazing what, what comes of it. One thing about profound love and saying yes to someone is there, there no longer really is a need to, to speak. People were not going to lie down and die. They were going to keep upright somehow, mentally, physically, and spiritually, to live. The, the urge to live is, is, a, is extraordinarily strong, isn't it? I tried to kill myself. It was part of the process. To understand that you have to find, you have to find the sense of your life. There's this little scared little girl meeting other scared little boys and girls. And the miracle of life allowing them to connect a little bit. And then realizing that with that connection, a little bit of light came in and we were able to, to do something together. Almost like, is it almost like I'm some sort of doubting Thomas and there's, there's a force there that's almost like trying to show me the way. And it's, uh, it's very powerful. It's extremely powerful. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the way it is. <laughs> it's your last day in this world. Oh. You have to enjoy it, your last day. Sometimes we were like this, walking on the forest with the other one, like this. And we were just uh, sometimes uh, laughing at the things. Come back here. Come back here this minute and sit down and tell me what it is you've got to tell me. Because I know fear always has something to tell you, to tell me. Um, I, what is it that you're trying to tell me? And it said, I'm trying to get you to learn your own worth. And it's like a soul connection. Wow. That's like the... <laughs> like the treasure, like you discovered the treasure of the person. And if, if that person is willing to share the treasure, why won't you be able to share yours also? Just checking the mask. <laughs> like I can say things and actually believe some of what comes out of my mouth. We have no clue. We, we have no clue. And, and, and you know what? The interesting and fascinating thing to having no clue is that then you fall in love with questions. She picks up his umbrella, hangs it over his head, right, she says, forward march, follow me. And the children just burst out laughing and went straight after him, without a sound. It's a great feeling to be able to wake up every morning with enthusiasm. I'm sitting here and I'm looking at you and I'm thinking it's about love actually. Our nature is to find that joy, that fulfillment, that, you know, whatever you call it, in simple things.